Hi guys, welcome to part two of the tri-cut versus pencil point. I've made up another two short ones. As you recall in the previous episode, we were dropping them into ballistic gel. There were so many comments about that. I was a bit disappointed with the performance of the ballistic gel. It's obviously not quite the same as what a fish flesh would be. Obviously fish have bones in it. There was a lot of suggestions we shoot fish. The problem with a fish is the bones vary along its body. So it'd be very difficult to have an exact uh, representation for each shot. And uh, quite a mission to set up. I don't want to damage a nice fish that I'd like to eat to that degree. So. I've come up with a different solution to the problem to get a, a much more uniform representation. We've got the same two tri-cut, same diameter spears, similar shape to the previous ones. They've been buffed and polished on exactly the same machine, so the abrasiveness is identical. And we're going to set it up in our hydraulic ram here with the load cell. The load cell works in both directions, pulling or pushing. It's set up nice and square. The shaft will go into a slot and that's going to be pushed forward showing a pressure. I've done a few experiments with little discs of plywood and I've also used cardboard and found a variety of variations in it. So for the test, I've glued two pieces of cardboard one on either side of the plywood. That slots into the frame here. There is a hole in the middle. It's uniformly supported. As this comes into position, I'll lift it up so that it's pushing directly. I have done quite a few where I've left it offset to one side or the other, had very little variation. Anyway, you guys will be surprised at these results. Try cut first. There's our load cell. And here we go. It's going to reach a maximum and then soften out. So we can see how much force is required to pass through both the two layers of cardboard and one ply. There we go. That looks like just over 60 and now it softens out as it passes through. So no matter how much more I push, not going to make any difference. So we're going to stop there, reverse it, back it out. And then we will use the next. So there it's right through. You saw those results. quite jammed. So now we're going to do the same again, exactly the same biscuit. This time with the pencil point. So there we are, set up to push with the pencil point. That went slightly higher. So there will be a variation from one piece of ply to another. So we're gonna repeat this many times. This time I'm just going to use the ply. So this is straight ply, no cardboard. Shouldn't be that big a difference. So 70 odd. There we go, through. I'll repeat that again.
This is just to see if we have a variation in the ply itself. Each disc is exactly the same thickness and exactly the same diameter. Also just over 70. So now we've changed over to the tri-cut, holding it in the middle. And away we go. Exactly the same, getting up into the 70s. So, very similar results. Let's continue doing it. We need obviously more than one test. Ply in place, driving it along the center. Everything's square and level. And now we're building up. Slightly less that time. That just shows you there is a variance in the ply. Obviously, the wood itself is a naturally grown product and there is variances. Let's keep going. Try cut. Just under 70. But very close. So now I've gone back to pencil point. See how that one performs. Quite a lot stronger there. That piece of timber is quite hard. This fared a lot better than the ballistic gel. The tri-cut did seem to cut better, but not as good as most would have thought. Uh, we're going to continue making tri-cut, but pencil point is an option. I think this would break bone better, gill plates, scales. This could quite easily hang up on a scale. You do need more force to push that through opposed to the tri-cut. I hope that settles some of the arguments we've been having. So in conclusion, it looks like the tri-cut is the better spear to have in terms of breaking through that bone and or big scales, gill plates, better than that of the pencil point. Pencil point's probably easier to rough make at home, but you're going to lose up to 25% of the penetration if you're hitting bone. If it's going through flesh, pencil point is fine. Stand by for the next video.